get a little more boat control, you know, yeah. and debate it on it. I find, let me just try it out. I said, if it's over don't work, I said, uh, I'll, we just take it off, you know. Well, I remember the day I put it on, or first time I was on the water, and I took it out to like Rice Lake at, Road, at Barnett, and wind was blowing a little bit, and I was just able to do, I was like, man, you know, a little more boat control, and just work with it from there, and, um, then eventually, after a couple of years, I thought, well, hey, if we had another one, sometimes I'm still using a chain or sock, you know, bad wind. With the one trolling motor. With the one trolling motor, yeah. And I mean, it helped a lot, but anyway, I mean, you know, if we had another one on there. <laughs> It'd be better, wouldn't it? It might help out. Let's try. Hey, we can take it off if it don't work. You know, it ain't that bad to hook it up. So, put that on there, and it was like. Man, that thing's working pretty good. So, well, guys, this is Terry Stewart. Uh, you can see uh, he's sponsored BM, Engle, all the good stuff. He's going to show us a quick rundown how he uses two trolling motors on the back of his boat. So, let's check it out and give us a full rundown on everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, like I say, I had started out with one, and the way I tell everybody, man, there's plenty of fish get caught with one trolling motor. But if you want to try an extra one, I mean, but if you want to just put two of them on there, go ahead and try it. But with one, you can. Uh, you can, you can do a lot with just one trolling motor. It helps out a lot with your boat control. But um, what we do is, there. Uh, one thing most people ask all the time, hey, are they programmed on one remote? But they're not. You can, uh, you can program five remotes for one trolling motor, but only, uh, you know, one, like I say, you can only have the one trolling motor to go to the same remote, so. Show us the mount real quick. Now, is these custom yeah, mounted? They are custom mounted. Uh, Mr. Gene Johnson helped build this. He machined some stuff. He lives here in Madison, Mississippi. Uh, he Man, he helps me out with so much stuff. Big shout out to Mr. Gene. He, he does millennium rod holders and all. He helped okay. design all that. The double, uh, the, uh, double seats and all that he's got there, spider lock seat. But uh, anyway, he, he come up with the uh, plate to put on here. And really, it's just five screws, three here and two. Yeah, pretty simple, huh? Yeah, I mean, you got to drill some more holes. But man, all these crappie boats, you got if you you, you got to drill holes if you're gonna crappie fish and, and be effective. But anyway, uh, drill that on there, and it's just your, you know still 24 volt. If some people, I know a guy's got a 36 volt hooked up, but I've got, got one or two. He's got one. He's got one. Um, they've got two batteries for each trolling motor. And like I say, I and, so you, got, I, you run how many total? Is that six total? Uh, all right, there's six batteries for the trolling motor. We got the one up front, so two for each trolling motor, six, and then I got one cranking battery for uh, okay. you know cranking. And how you got your batteries laid out through your boat? I got them. I've got five in the back. We used to have an oil tank back here, but anyway, um, I ended up taking that out. I've got five batteries in the back, and I've got two in the front compartment up here that uh, that we got tied into the front trolling motor. And so how do, you, how do you charge them? Do you have two chargers? You got two chargers. I've got a, uh, a four bank charger and a three bank charger is what I've got mounted up in there. So, you know, that, that charges the seven batteries. Um, and I did, you know, you got my chargers in here, the little yeah. cooler, the little ice chest. I got both of those. They fit good in there. And um, so you do a lot of modifying on your boat for all the uh, batteries and all that? A little bit, not a whole lot. I did run some wire up to the front for another plug and the charging wires. I had to run that. That was probably the toughest part of it, but... Uh, I'm sure you use them today. Oh, yeah, both of uh, Oh, yeah, man, so, use them. Use them you know. So I you used it today real quick to give a quick rundown. Well, a good scenario. Just uh, what's fresh on your mind. Yeah, exactly. Today, the wind wasn't that bad. Just had one of them down at first this morning, and you're able to control you know, I'll turn it around backwards and, and just hold us back and, and control the boat. Now, I'm steadily kind of looking and checking the direction and all, but I'd like to talk with Minn Kota and work on a couple of things. We can make some yeah. more adjustments, but hey, they, they sell plenty of trolling motors. Yeah. But anyway. Um, and was you dealing with the crosswind today on a, any kind of contour, or was you already on like a flat bottom, or how was you doing it today? Um, we were. We were fishing ledges, so what we can do sometimes instead of uh coming forward into a ledge and the wind's blowing and you're sitting there having a hole with that one trolling motor we can come backwards with both of them down and you can get on that ledge and try to get a little less boat really? splash so you come up backwards sometimes now if it gets real bad you about got to do it uh you about got to do it so there's all right you you pull backwards while you're rigging you're, you got your rods laid out in front right and you're coming yeah, backwards that's right hey wow. so you can hold it back and you can bump you know you can control it, your nose with the front part of it 
um, and just vary your speed. What I do, I put this one down and just put it, if the wind's kind of bad, put it on about one and a half or two and just put it straight behind the boat. And then I use the other one as a control, you know, just yeah. to bump it up and down or move, you know, the boat a little bit. Now tell us how, on, on, a, on a day like this, yeah. do you, with, with the bunch of batteries, batteries that you have, does it run it all down? Do you have an issue with that right now? No, or is it pretty much like you got to set, you got to figure it out? Yeah, I mean, I do. I use uh, Optima batteries, uh, 31 series batteries. I don't have any problem with them running down. I run them, I run, but the thing about it, when you're running these two, you don't run the front one as much. It's, it's so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're not awesome. sitting there just, you know, putting in these digital trolling motors and all, they don't run that much. Uh, you know, they don't pull as much anyway. So, hadn't had any battery issues so That's far. Awesome. Um, Anything else you want to add before we close it out here? Man, if anybody, everybody? hey, anybody yeah. wants to try it out or has any questions, man, give me, just contact me, uh, you know. You got Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. Uh, Instagram? It, well, no, I'm not on Instagram. I just got on Facebook not <laughs> yeah. long ago, but uh, just Terry Stewart and, and look me up and like I say, I'd be glad to help anybody out if they've got any questions. I, I mean, I was a little apprehensive at first. I kept thinking about it. I thought, let's try it out. If yeah. you don't like it, but I, I know a couple other people that's done it. So far, they've kind of liked it. Well, that's you know? awesome. So it, it gives you a little, little more boat control, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, still people catch a lot of fish with uh, with one trolling yeah. motor. So it's not a, it's not a, a necessary something you have to have. But I probably well, I used to use a chain and a wind sock a lot. Since I've had these, don't I don't want to use you know a chain or sock much. So it's easier, especially if you buy yourself or right, something. Right, right. So um, a lot less hassle. Yeah. Well, I seen the two trolling motors and I heard about it and uh, I had to hurry up and coach and introduce myself. But yeah. Terry Stewart, ladies and gentlemen, yes, sir. It. Hey, Thanks thank y'all, so Justin. Man. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys, thank we'll you. check you out on other videos. We're going to walk around here and just be sure to check us out. And be sure to check Terry Stewart out. If you got any questions, he just told you. He'll open up to you and tell you exactly how to set up if you want to do that. Appreciate it. Cause this is what I live for.